so far we have talked about the introductory video about uh, helicobacter pylori now in this video we will be talking about a little bit about infection okay so we will be talking about uh, the type of infection caused by helicobacter pylori now the type of infection they usually causes uh, they are related with uh, we know different symptoms like diarrhea and uh, different GI symptoms like gastrointestinal cramp and all these things now usually uh, the diseases they uh, cause is is gastritis so let me write gastritis as well as they also cause ulcer which is also called as peptic ulcer right so let me write it it's also called peptic ulcer okay okay and uh, as they are uh, attached with uh, are related with ulcers and gastritis uh, they are also related with symptoms like diarrhea uh, chronic abdominal pain and the different things like that okay now in, in the disease like gastritis uh, as a result of this kind of infections uh, the acid efflux acid efflux takes place acid efflux acid efflux now this kind of acid efflux will damage this can damage sorry this can damage esophagus right so this is a kind of cause of the disease and in different modes of ulcer there are different modes of ulcer right now in in gastric ulcers uh, what it actually causes it results in so let me write it results in inflammation results in inflammation or the swelling of this place right most of the case inflammation is related to many things it is related with uh, physical characteristics or appearance uh, such as swelling and also it is related with calling upon the immune system host immune system so it will call upon host immune system in the place right now why they are doing so it is also important we'll be telling it later now Another thing that I, I must uh, talk about this part is that uh, now normally they can also cause this epigastric discomfort and duodenal ulcer. Okay, now uh, as they're uh, colonizing in duodenum and esophagus, so duodenum ulcer and esophageal ulcer, this kind of be uh, cause of the disease. And also uh, sometimes it can be uh, normally normally these things are uh, what you can say. Placed in a particular region, so they are non-motile kind of infection. But sometimes, sometimes can be spreading. So this can can sometimes spread from one place to another place. In those cases, they are related with a form of cancer this thing is important sorry this thing is important because let's say let's say uh, here it is so let me draw let's say here it is our uh, stomach and this is the duodenum coming out now this is the region for the duodenum for example so in this region suppose these are the bacteria these red color things are the bacteria that are colonizing there now after colonizing there for many hours many days not hours actually colonizing there for many days what they are uh, producing they are producing biofilms biofilms are generated now these biofilms can be transferred as a mass of a bacteria so as a mass of bacteria from that place to other place from that place to other place and as a result of this movement of this bulk bacterial region from one place to another place it will be called as metastasis right so we can call it as a metastasis this kind of behavior is a typical behavior for the cancerous cells so this may turn into a kind of cancer but it is uh, it is it is due, due to, it is occur uh, only when the infection is going on for longer period of time otherwise it, it there is no chance for this to happen okay and okay so that's about it and i hope that's helpful thank you